Lord, how beautiful are you. How wonderful is your word. How encouraging and soothing and helping is the blessed Holy Spirit as he guides me every moment when I listen to him. Help me to listen better and more closely and be obedient always. Father, thank you so much for this day and each blessing, every opportunity to interact with other people is a divine appointment. You are sovereign over all the earth. So every time we come in contact with other people, those are divine moments. Help me, help each of us to cherish those divine moments, to cling to those and know that you have given us those as an opportunity to shine the light and be the salt for the body of Christ. Lord, help us. We can't do this. We can't do any of this. I certainly can't without your help. So help me, Lord, to be a better light, to be a better salt, to be a better person, to love you with all of my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love my neighbor as myself. Lord, have mercy. Forgive me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness and lead me in the way everlasting. Father, I pray tonight on behalf of unborn children who are in the most dangerous place on earth, their mother's womb. Lord, I pray that abortion would come to an end. I pray that people would come to realize and see and accept that life is a gift from you and it's not ours to take. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us for our sinfulness in allowing this to go on without being more prayerful, without speaking up more for those who can't speak for themselves. Help them, Lord, to be born for no more to be aborted and help each of us to be more faithful to intercede on behalf of those who need help, who can't help themselves, the unborn and many, many others. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we honor you, we praise you, and we glorify your name. For you are God and there is no other. You are God and we need no other. Thank you, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.